at the National Assembly, a full floor meeting was held with high expectations. Unfortunately, lawmakers were unable to vote on long pending bills, including the government's extra budget proposal. Kim Min Ji starts us off. The government's multi billion dollar extra budget bill and government reorganization proposal failed to pass the National Assembly. Despite last minute efforts, rival parties were unable to find common ground and have the bills ready for a vote during Tuesday's full parliament session. They will try to convene a meeting and have the bills passed on Wednesday. A parliament committee had been fine tuning the details of the extra budget bill, but a portion of the budget directed at increasing the number of civil servants had been a subject of contention. While ruling party lawmakers insisted that the budget is needed in order to create thousands of jobs as promised, the opposition countered by saying it's unacceptable and will only increase the burden on taxpayers down the line. It's the last full parliament session, so we are still trying to reach a deal over the supplementary budget bill and government reorganization plan. We're trying to fine-tune the issue of scraping a clause regarding the number of civil servants. Rival parties also fail to see eye to eye on the government reorganization plan. Even after the full parliament session adjourned, talks continued into the evening in an attempt to narrow their differences over which ministry takes charge of the nation's water management, as well as dissolving the public safety ministry. While those two bills have been put on hold, some progress was made on other issues. The assembly adopted a resolution that condemns North Korea's continued provocations. The resolution calls for a halt to Pyongyang's provocative acts, warning that it could lead to the extinction of the regime. This comes about two weeks after North Korea launched what it claims to be an intercontinental ballistic missile. The parliament also passed confirmation motions for two Supreme Court justices, Park Jong-hwa and Cho Jae-yeon, who had their hearings earlier this month. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.